Hey guys, welcome back to NoCP Technology. My name is Shripal and today I'm going to demonstrate you about auto upgrade feature which is introduced in Oracle 19C. So in this practice, we are going to upgrade Oracle 11G to 19C using the auto upgrade feature step by step. But before starting my tutorial, I have one request to all of you if you are new on my channel please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you will get my all the notification in your mailbox and you will get the notification if you press the bell button so without wasting your time let's move on the computer screen and do the practical this i'm going to follow the following document which is already published on the ocp technology official website i will put the link in video description you will get it from there okay or you can visit directly on the ocptechnology.com website and find the topic before starting the activity we should know these two things first install the oracle 19c with a separate home i will put the link in video description how to install the oracle 19c and here in the i button you will also get the video how to install oracle 19c second point is that download the updated auto upgrade utility from the oracle support login let's see how to download auto upgrade utility from the oracle support open the following link you will get the link from video description also login with your support user id and password in this download section you will see the latest auto upgrade utility version just click on the version and download will start automatically now it is downloaded in this practice i am using the following environment like vmware workstation 16 oracle linux 7 oracle database 11g and oracle database 19c also in my case my oracle 11g home location in u01 and oracle 19c installed in the u02 let's see the pre-checks check your current instances detail how many instances is running and what is the status of the instance in our case database is in open mode and only one database is running here let's check auto upgrade utility version from 19c home this is the command which is check the auto upgrade utility version just copy and paste the command on dollar prompt here you clearly see the auto upgrade utility version is 19 let's replace the existing auto upgrade utility with the newly downloaded utility the utility available on the following path let me do it quickly now check the utility version again after replacing this time you can see here the utility version has been changed from 19 to 22 step 2 check jdk version it should be equals to or greater than 1.8 the following command used to check jdk version let me execute the command perfectly our jdk version is 1.8 congratulations now you can go ahead step 3 create config file the config file is the main file which has the all configuration about all the databases which you want to upgrade okay so before creating a config file let me create a directory where i will create the config file and other log files for the upgradation okay let's generate the config file using the following command let me check the configuration file is generated or not yes it is generated step 4 edit the config file and add the parameter as per our requirement okay so just open the config file in vi editor as you can see here is the detail about your database one if you have a multiple databases on same machine then you can specify all the database detail in the config file database number two database number three okay let me edit the detail as per my database i have only one database so i'm giving here only one database details log dir your directory location where you want to create the upgradation log i have already created a location u02 upgrade underscore test location for the logs database sid is ocp and source database home my oracle 11g home and my target database is a 19c so 19c in the target home start time now 
and target version is 19. If you are going to upgrade in any other version, then you have to give the that version Oracle Home and version of the database. Run UTLRP after the upgradation. Yes. Upgrade time zone after upgradation. Yes. Perfect. Now save the config file. Step 5. Analyze the database using the edited config file. The analyze command will check all the necessary requirement which is must be set before the upgradation. The following command will help us to analyze the database. Just copy and paste the command. Database is analyzed. You can see here two logs, one in .html format and other one in .log format. Let me open .log format file first to check the what its record during analyze. Ok, our pre-check is failed right now. Let me open the .html file to check in details why it's failed. Ok. It's failed because our database is running in no archive mode. The database must be running in archive log mode during the upgradation because during the upgradation it will perform the many operation in the backend which is required logs. Let's check the database mode first. Yes, it is in no archive log mode. So let me change the mode quickly. Okay, now our database mode has been changed in archive mode. Let's analyze again and you must run the command from the config file location. Your present working directory must be your log file directory which we created in the previously. The lsj command will show you the current status of running job. Yes, it is analyzing the database. Okay, it's completed now. Let me open the html file directly. Click on the check report hyperlink. In pre-check, still two errors. Don't worry, I will be remove them. Let's check what is that errors. First error is belong to database recycle bin. Before upgradation, your database recycle bin must be empty. Second error, the DB recovery file dash size, minimum size is required 6 GB. Okay. Let me do it quickly. First, I am going to purge the DB recycle bin. And second is set the db recovery file dash size at least 6 GB. Okay. Alter system set db recovery file dash size is equals to 8 GB. Okay. It's set now. Other we have some warnings also. We can safely ignore these warnings or you can perform them. In recommendation, you need to gather fix object stats with the following command. Let me execute the same. Okay, it's done now. One more parameter is remaining which is the process. Before the upgradation, you should set the process value is 300. Let me set it quickly. Okay, it's done now. Analyze the database again. Okay, it's checking now. 
this time you can see there is a message no manual intervention required okay step 7 start upgradation process copy the following command and execute it it will be deploying the upgradation you can check the status using the lsj command also you can monitor the upgradation logs and database alert log files for more details it will take time in database upgradation so let me fast forward the video this is my alert log file in the green screen let me open the upgradation log on separate terminal also this is the upgradation log file here clearly you can see the upgradation status finally our database successfully upgraded in the end it suggests us to drop the restore point which is created by auto upgrade utility before upgradation for safety purpose after verifying all the details we will drop the restore point so let me verify the details before login into the database i need to set the environment variable so for the 19c environment i'm going to create a environment file or you can edit your bash underscore profile as per the 19c home in this environment file i have added oracle 19c base location oracle 19c home location and other detail also so this is our environment file let me save this file and load the 19c environments to executing the 19c.env file let's check current home using the echo command that's good this is the 19c home now try to login in the database using the sql plus command yes we logged in successfully step 8 after upgradation steps verify the instance name and its version and time zone version also And in the last, if everything is sound perfectly, let's drop the save point. Done. Congratulations. Finally, you have successfully upgraded the Oracle 11G database into 19C database. Thank you so much. Guys, I hope you really learned something from this video. If yes, press the like button and share your feelings in comment box. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.